Hey everybody, Jax here with another UDK tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to be covering some basics for improving performance in, with the UDK on your systems. And with the older rigs that can be pretty important because UDK is pretty cumbersome on system resources. As you can see up here, this counter is uh, fluctuating pretty wildly and that's because of my screen recorder. It doesn't particularly like UDK. I need to find myself a new one, but this one works fine for now. And it actually works quite well for this purpose because my machine is actually quite good and will run at the maximum frames per second if it wasn't for the screen recorder. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to first show you. Uh, probably the first thing you should do if you have an older machine, UDK is lagging a lot. You come to File and go to Switch Render. You can go to DirectX 9 or DirectX 11. If you're on a DirectX 11 and your machine's really a uh, pretty old machine, so go ahead and switch it back to DirectX 9. It, UDK should come default as DirectX 9, but if it's not, uh, switch it back because. Uh, DirectX 11 is relatively new and uh, takes up a lot more system resources than DirectX 9. The next thing we need to do is something that I don't think I've ever seen someone go into, but it's this little arrow here, Viewport Options. And as developers, uh, we should know what our maps look like and our games, but it's not always necessary to have a lot of things up and running while you're doing a lot of editing because that can slow things down quite a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go down to the show tab. And there's quite a few things that you don't really necessarily need. You don't need lens flares, so I'm going to go ahead and click that off. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Don't need decals. Um, don't really need spray particles and that's about it from there volumes that should be fine um, it's okay this is where I actually tick the uh, show FPS up in the right hand corner so you can pull that up and use that. And for the most part, that's actually a pretty good start. Is just removing those few things. You can remove more things. Like if you have a lot of uh, trees in your map, you can actually remove trees, and that should speed things up quite a lot. And I honestly can't tell if it's helped at all. I think it's just the screen recorder is making UDK wig out, but that's okay. You can also hide other things like uh, static meshes. If you have a lot of static meshes that are mostly detail oriented, you can remove static meshes and just leave your BSP or um, the most important thing I almost forget to mention, but the most important thing to un uh, untick is post processing. That will really slow your machine. Depth of field. You need to get rid of that. You need to um, pretty much all of these things. You don't need any of this for just in. Uh, while, while you're editing, you don't need any of that stuff. I'm going to leave that ticked, but... Um, <clears throat> you don't need dynamic shadows. If you have any dynamic lights, that's going to really slow down your machine while editing. You don't need fog. Um, that might slow, your down, slow down your machine as well. Um, 
definitely don't need tessellation. If you have tessellation in your map, that will really slow it down. I'll bring it down to a halt if you're on an old enough machine. And really, that's that's about it. That's uh, all you really need to uncheck. Sprites don't really take up any system resources. Layers, not so much. Uh, volumes don't pretty much do much of anything at all. It just um, shows you the bounding boxes for the different areas, and that's that won't hardly do anything. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys find this little uh, tidbit of information helpful. And please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.